Let's start the reading. We we'll wait a little bit for people to come. Today I prepared some topics. So uh, my work day was today was too much. Uh, too much, not because uh, it's the first time to go to this new job. I used to because uh, I started work at home because of the virus shit, and I had another job before. And today I just had a headache. I had this one girl there in the office. I swear to God, I swear I never saw a girl like this. She she was speaking from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. with me. She didn't shut up. She didn't. She only shut up for 20 minutes, like maximum in the whole day because she was doing something. But she was speaking to me like from 8, 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. Can you imagine that? No, I prepared a topic today. Hello. So I prepared a topic today. The first topic gonna be your proposal. How are they gonna propose to you? I know we done this, but we're gonna do it again. Your proposal. How would they propose to you? So one, two, three, four, and five. How would they propose to you, your proposal? Who will propose to you and how will your proposal going to be and with who any information that we can collect? One, two, three, four, five. Your proposal, your proposal, how it going to be and who will propose to you and we're just gonna see what is there. How do they look like? How is your proposal? Choose. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, Stinky, your proposal. How they will propose to you, how will you propose, Stinky, and with who, I will see the view, what is there for your proposal day, what, how you propose, one, two, three, four, five, so choose. Okay, we're gonna start now. Number one, your number one, your proposal going to be on a submarine or somewhere, marine, there's marine. Marines and there's boats, you know, that we call it Elmina, you know, Elmina, uh, the place where there's a lot of boats and uh, it's for the fishermen or for fishing and stuff like that. I see a beautiful place where there's a lot of boats in the sea and there's like birds everywhere, like big birds, and the view is really good. Like, there's a lot of big boats and uh, yacht, and uh, there's a lot of boats, it's like the marine, okay. So uh, this is where the, your proposal going to be. It's gonna be there, it's somewhere beautiful, and there's like fish. You're gonna eat fish. There's like a fish that you can eat. Maybe I went to a country there. Was like where was that? I think it was also in Holland. Stinky, I don't know where it was that in Holland, where like there's a lot of marine and there's fish that you can eat. Somewhere like that. So uh, in the Netherlands, maybe for some of you, any place that there's marine and there's boats and stuff like that. So your proposal going to be there. This person got curly hair or wavy hair, thick hair. They got thick hair. It could be straight hair, curly hair or something, but their hair is thick. Like it's not like thin. It's that thick hair. They could have like Indian roots, African roots, or they could be mixed or something. Or they could have like rasta, or they could have like something like about their hair is a bit thick. Okay. So your proposal going to be beautiful because after your proposal, there's something bland. I feel like you will think that it's just beautiful the way it is, but then you wouldn't know, like you, you're so happy that you wouldn't know there's something. Like when the sun set down a little bit, there's something. So, so the, your proposal going to be uh, at daytime, like when the sun is up. So when the sun set, they're gonna be a little bit something bland, uh, bland for you and you're gonna go someplace. I'm seeing you really excited. And after being excited about it, there's something more. It's like it's been a whole day like activities that you didn't know about, like surprises of a day, okay? Cute. Uh, number two, how your proposal going to be? Gonna be in a coffee shop or some place that there's food in it? 
uh, coffee and food. So I'm not seeing a place fancy, a fancy place, but this place looks vintage. Could be at a bar or a pub or something, but I'm seeing this place is very um, got a sentimental value in you some way. I'm not sure if you met there at this place where you first met with this person, or this place got some kind of history with you or a family history, or it could be you could be from this place, so that's why you're gonna go there. Some of you I'm seeing you Irish, so that's why you're gonna go to the Irish pub in a country or some some pub that belongs to your country, so you're gonna have the theme prepared for your country somehow. Or or like uh, for for her country or his country something like that it's like a country club or something like that it look vintage or cultured a, a little bit culture cultured for others of you you met there it's kind of like a cozy place but i feel like you're gonna be one of a cold it's a cold or rainy day so that's why you're inside a cold or rainy day and you're just gonna the proposal gonna happen there so number three, your proposal day, how would they, would they propose to you? Number three, this person gonna do it big. This person gonna do it big, 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 big. Are your proposal gonna be big? I'm seeing like really big, like it gonna be big. Like I'm seeing the stages, cameras, uh, screens. It could be in a concert or a place like that, a place really big. Or this person could ask someone like in a concert, someone to go on stage or there's a stage to ask someone on stage to say something to you or would you marry me something or it could be like in a you know where i don't know in the u.s i think you have a screen where in, in a football in a, any football match or something there's a screen something on a screen it's like very public this proposal going to be very public and very big very very big like there's screens and a lot of people around you so it could be in a concert a place this person gonna do it in public like publicly so this person got the, purpose, the person that you're gonna propose to. I'm feeling like maybe you're a man who chose this, or you could be a woman who's gonna propose to you. Any any person. So this person got fair skin or skin like my skin, kind of like that, a little bit tan skin or tanner than me or something like my skin, like that. Okay. So number four, how the proposal going to be? Number four, the proposal going to be uh, on the beach, somewhere a tropical, a beach, but it doesn't look so fancy beach, so it'll look like a, a, the local beach or something like that, public beach, somewhere like nice, but it's not so, so, so fancy, like you travel to the Maldives and stuff. So it could be like in California, I'm seeing California, something like that, Malibu beach, something like a beach that you go to, like uh, take a trip to go to, it's not there's no hotels or spas around it around it some place like that i feel like it's gonna be uh, random because you're gonna be traveling somewhere else with this person it could be your boyfriend or something or you could she could be your girlfriend you travel in some place and then you're gonna say hey how about we stop at this place and then you're gonna stop at this place it's gonna be a surprise so once you go there it's beautiful and there's set you set something or you ask a friend to set something by the beach it's gonna be a surprise so it's the sunset a little bit and so when you take a break and stop the car and then you go there because you're traveling somewhere else then the surprise is there the proposal is there like ba bang on the beach so yeah and there's ba bang also gonna happen ba bang in so number five, how the proposal going to be? Number five, this uh, proposal going to be in an office, a place closed, a place inside the house. It could be a traditional proposal like arranged marriage or something with the family involved because I see a lot of family. For some of you, not family. It could be in a church or a place where there's a lot of cultures, a lot of people, but they're religious or cultured or family members. This proposal going to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's a proposal going to be like that and uh, a place where there's a lot of papers around you, there's a lot of files, it could be at a workplace or somewhere or someone gonna come to you at your work, it could be like working late night or something and someone gonna come to you at work and then propose to you while you're working or you could be working together uh, on something while studying something and then this person gonna propose to you at college or you're at college or you, you're at class, something like where you, you just like not prepared or you're working on something. For others of you, it could be a traditional marriage, like there's family, for some of you, I feel like the proposal 
gonna happen like really fast like hey let's get married and then you know you go you go you go really fast to the office or the place where you get married to and you sign the papers like you really want to get married real fast for some reason you just want to get married like let's do it on paper right now i feel like you're working you're walking on the park and there's like you wet your hair is wet for some reason or her his hair is wet so it's like you both are wet because it's raining and then you're both having a good time maybe for some of you you just got out of like you went to a club or some place or a, I'm not sure, but you ha you're laughing, you're both laughing, and then hey, marry me, something like that. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's go some place. Let's get married by paper, and then we tell everyone something like that. Hey, <laughs> let me drink my coffee a little bit, people. Day. I prepared today the topic so I will because I I'm gonna post it on YouTube. I don't wanna wait for so long from people to choose a topic. So how how is your marriage sex life? How your marriage sex life when you get married? Is the sex babanging gonna be good or gonna be the babanging like you're not good? So your marriage babanging. Your marriage sex life one, two, three, four, five. Your marriage babanging, your marriage sex life. Choose one. I've done a lot of readings on YouTube. I'm gonna post them later. One, two, three, four, five. Your marriage by banging, your marriage sex life. Okay, let's start. Number one, your marriage by banging gonna be a very extreme, extreme, extreme by banging. Extreme by banging. Because I feel like you're gonna have to uh, obey the rule. I'm not sure your, your husband or your wife is all about the punishments attitude of sex it's like i'm gonna punish you because you did that i'm gonna fuck you it's like all all steamy and violent but it's hot it was like a steamy violent your marriage life is all juicy it's also spicy because this person like the fighting and the that we fucking make up you know like that this person like the extreme like intensity of sex this person like to tease you a little bit make you angry so then they will fuck you while you're angry or something like that I like make you angry it's like what you want to say what you want to say i fuck you this person is like creative with the way they tease you so you'll be angry so they'll be banging start so yeah Hello, so your marriage by banging, how gonna be? Number one, also this person like to say things to you, what, so to uh, to make you hot. I feel like, uh, hello, this person like to make you hot, I like to make you horny, they know how to make you horny. Your, your future husband or wife, great, they know how to make you horny. So number two, how is your marriage life by banging? Gonna be lame, you're gonna do it sometime, you're gonna schedule it Monday, uh, maybe Friday, Tuesday, you're gonna be bang a little bit. But you're fine with it, cause you're both working and then you be bang each other, you sleep, it's like let's be bang, let's not be bang today, let's sleep, let's eat. Number three, how's your marriage life by banging? Your marriage life by banging gonna be like, I don't know why I don't believe in condom or anything like that, but there's no protection. You're gonna have a lot of babies. There's like your monkeys, monkey business, monkey business, your monkey business. You'll fuck like monkeys. You'll fuck everywhere. You'll fuck everywhere. You, you, this is like fucking if three times a day gonna be, this person is a fuck kaholic or you are. Uh, both of you are like really addicted to each other very very addicted to each other so be careful you might have a lot of babies from the fucking so i feel like it's okay just fucking i feel like you fuck everywhere you both are very in love forever for some reason like you both have the stamina for each other you both like the bang each other everywhere everywhere you like to be like 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 a love bird like together like that so attached to each other beautiful <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's go we got uh number four how's the marriage life of banging <sighs> number four i feel like you're both gonna be like sometime you both get so bored like you don't know if you want to feel each other or not 
I feel like you both have a lot of ego, so you do feel each other, but for some reason, sometimes you don't want to feel each other, you want to break from each other, you don't like the babanging intensity, like every day. You like to take space from babanging sometimes, it's like, I want to take space so I can miss you for babanging, I feel like you both have an attitude, like, let's take a space for one week not babanging each other, so later on, we can babang each other, something like that. <laughs> Number five, how is your marriage life a banging? Marriage life a banging going to be uh, so disgusting. So disgusting. Number five, so disgusting. I feel like you're not going to like your marriage life a banging for some reason. Because I feel like your wife or your husband, your person you asked about, or you not know how to be bang. It's like like they come really fast or they're banging they're not creative with the banging they're not passionate with the banging you have to have a, a sex uh, consultant because the banging sucks hmm who chose <laughs> so uh, the next topic What's going to happen between you and them in the next two months? Now they, next two months, what's going to happen between you and them? Next two months, one, two, three, four, five. Next two months, what's going to happen between you and them? One, two, use condom number three, five. What's going to happen between you and them? In the next two months, what's going to happen between you and them? I have that far on in my mouth. One, two, three, four, five. What's gonna happen between you and them? Okay, in the next two months. And we'll start now. Number one, you both gonna be very. Oh my god, for some of you, you both gonna be attached to each other, and the next two months, you're gonna be boyfriend or girlfriend. Or you got for some of you, there's like some kind of weird situation gonna put you two together. I'm not seeing like a marriage or like you living together, but there's a weird situation that you're gonna force to be together face to face, and then you just for some reason, you just like. Not saying anything, but being together, like wanting each other. And after this two month, in the process of the two month, you're both gonna admit feelings to each other. Some weird situation gonna happen, they're gonna bring this person to you, or you to them. So uh, you both gonna align to each other. It's like your life, for some reason, just aligned together in one line and put you, uh, put you two together. So you're both gonna be happy that you're there and he's there or something like that. And then you're gonna you're gonna be having a lot of activities together in the next two months. You're gonna have a lot of activities together. We're banging off there. Number two. Thank you. This is Zafaran coffee. It's really good. Number two, we're gonna have in between you two in the next two months. You're gonna be bang someone else. And uh, I feel like uh, you're gonna say sorry to this person for some reason, or this person gonna say sorry to you, and you're gonna decide to separate ways from each other. Number three, what's gonna happen between you two in the next two months? In the next two months, a miracle gonna happen. Seriously, a miracle, or a girl named Miracle, or a miracle. A miracle involved in the situation that gonna bring you two together I feel like a miracle gonna be created I'm seeing like two together and there's a miracle like it's like how did this happen like how did this happen like I didn't think like not now not in a 12 years from now that we are gonna be together or this gonna happen but a miracle gonna happen and you two together I feel like you two gonna look at each other like in bed or you gonna look at this person like laying next to you and you're like how did this happen how did this happen like you wished for this person or something or this person wished for you and you're like how did this happen how am i with this person how am i in love how am i committed to someone how am i happy like i feel like you're gonna be like it's a miracle gonna happen it's like you both together <laughs> yeah mm-hmm number four number four what gonna happen between you two 
And I'm before, and I'm before, and the next two months, you both gonna separate ways, you both gonna decide to work on other things, maybe in the far, far future, gonna be together, but I'm seeing a lot of burden, this relationship gonna be a little bit intense and burdened by a lot of things around you. Number five, what gonna happen between you two in the next two months? So, uh, <laughs> In the next two months, you both gonna have a baby, maybe for some of you. Baby, let's ha have a baby with me. Let's be, I don't know what. So, yeah, you're gonna have a baby together, you and them, for in the next two months, for some of you. And uh, I feel like you, for some of you, you're gonna propose to this person, or this person gonna propose to you, gonna get married. For some reason, someone is throwing up a lot. I'm seeing someone throwing up. So, someone is pregnant for sure because someone is throwing, throwing up, and you don't know, like, why am I throwing up? Why am I throwing up? If you're throwing up, throwing up, I feel sick. Remember, like I said, remember Anu said that you're pregnant, so get, get a pregnancy test because you might get pregnant. I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like a depression or a weird feeling that you're gonna feel in the next two months. No, depression is like you don't know what you feel, like your body feel weird. For some reason, your body feel weird, and there's a weird situation gonna happen that you need to adjust with it. Like you and them, but later on gonna be good. So okay. The same similar situation, like what? You mean like the same energy, you're reading the same energy. I just delivered the message. I got no uh, I got no opinion about what gonna happen in your life. I just deliver the message. I don't care if it's the same message or not. So, okay. What's their sexual thought? What's their sexual babanging thought about you? What do they want to do to you like with the babang you like that? Okay? One, two, three, four, five. What do they want to do to you when they babang you? What do they want to babang you? What's their sexual thought? One, two, three, four, five. Their sexual thought towards you. We got five bottle cups. One, two, three, four, five. Stinky is quiet. Stinky, where are you? Stinky? Stinky. Stinky, where did you go? One, two, three, four, five. Their sexual thought towards you. Stinky slept. Number one, what's the sexual thought toward you? Number one, this person want to give you oral sex. If she's a girl, she want to suck your dick. She really want to suck it. Uh, if he's a man, he really want to eat your pussy, eat it, eat it, eat it. And I feel like he want to just grab your legs like this. I'm not sure why I've seen him like grabbing your legs and want you not to move. It's like not to move. Even if you want to move, not move. I feel like this person want to torture you by sex. I'm not sure why they want to torture you by sex, but they want to give you oral sex and they want you to want to escape and not, you cannot stand up. The internet is acting up again anyway. So this person want to give you oral sex. They want you to want to escape, but you cannot escape. This person all about torturing you, your body, but giving you orgasm without them, uh, them pleasuring themselves. They want to pleasure you, watch you come. There's a sexual thought now. Number two, what their sexual thought towards you? Number two, this person want to kiss your neck. They like to kiss your neck and kiss, like, eat your nipples. For some reason, this person is disgusting. I'm not sure why I'm seeing a disgusting energy. They like to do this for you, but I feel like it's not appropriate. I'm not sure why this relationship seems, like, not appropriate. So, if this person is married or this person is, like, you're way younger than this person, like, you're underage or something, I feel like there's something not, not supposed to happen here. So, whatever sexual thought they have, they're not supposed to have this sexual thought towards you so they feel like it's they feel guilty when they think about it so number three what's their sexual thought towards you <sighs> number three this person want to hug you hug you or cuddle with you i feel like this person will want a rough rough sex and then after that just like just cuddle and or just sleep on you this person really want to bang you so hard to get your soul out of your body when they bang you this person want to bang you like you gotta be surprised from the bang you gotta be like hard like this person imagine the bang like how deep in it 
deep in it, they want to bang you. They want bang you real hard. Those people want to bang you, touch you, kiss you, you know, it's like all over your body. They want to just make your body shiver. Those people want that, and then it's like when you're knocked out, like after the bang, and that's how the person wants to bang you. So, number four, what's the sexual babanging thoughts about you? Number four, number four, this person had got no sexual thought about you or babanging because this person is busy eating or studying or doing something. This person got no, no, no energy to babang anyone. This person does not want to babang anyone. They rather, they rather read a book for some reason. Book, oh, this person is about booking something right now. They want to book something. They, they're busy booking something. They're busy planning their vacation or something. This person does not think about babanging. At all. So in number five, for their sexual babanging toward you. <sighs> number five, this person want to marry you first before they babanging, cause for some reason they feel like that's not it's not right. If if they want to think about babanging you without marrying you first or without taking you to church and ask the nun if they can babang you or not, like they could take you to church and say to the nun, hey, can I babang this person? We both are in love. We want to marry each other. Are we going to hell or this person could be Muslim. It's like, are we, can we be bang? Can we be bang or should be married? Or this person got cultural belief or something that they're not allowed to be bang you until a certain point. Or for others of you, this person feel like they cannot think about be banging you right now. They need to date you for five months or something to think about be banging. I'm not sure even with themselves, they don't think about be banging. How can you do it? I think about be banging every day. So what's the next uh, topic? Choose a topic. Uh, next topic. Yeah, choose a topic, people. Fast, people. Fast. Choose a topic before I go eat. <laughs> I keep wondering who chose number five. Because I've been getting really weird messages with number five, like from yesterday. Yeah, your future kid. How are your future children going to be? Are you going to have kids? How are your kids going to be looking like? Are your kids? I love kids. One, two, three, four, five. How are your future kids going to be like? And how many kids are you going to have in general? Are you, are you going to have kids at all or not? One, two, three, four, five. Your future kids. Choose. Number one, are you Angelina? Number one, because uh, I feel like you're gonna have a lot of kids, but not all of them are yours. Uh, for some of you, it's a general reading. Uh, you're gonna have like two kids, and then you're gonna ad adopt more kids, for adoption. So by adoption, I feel like you have two beautiful kids, like the one that yours. For some of you, not all of you gonna adopt. Uh, I keep choosing number one. Maybe I choose number one because I'm thinking about adoption also. But I don't know. Sure, I'm young right now. But you have two kids that are very cute. They have big afro hair or they have curly hair, big curly hair. For some of you, they have a straight blonde hair. I feel like your kid look mixed, so maybe they're mixed kid. But your kids are very very cute. For some reason, your kids look like very dressed up. Do you dress your kids really well because they're wearing like tiny Jordans or tiny things? I was like, you, you're really dressing up your kids really too much. Maybe it's, they are my kids, maybe. So you're dressing, your kids are like looking like tiny thugs. I'm not sure you wear, they wear necklaces. This is a boy and a girl. For some of you, are going to have two boys. For others of you, are going to have three kids, three girls. For others of you, are going to have two boys only and uh, like... Um, there's a potential for you to have the third kids for some reason for uh, some of you so yeah i feel like uh, when it comes to you to raising your kids you both are very very good at it so number one. Oh, cute <laughs> i feel like you're gonna have another baby then a boy maybe so number two, number two, uh, your future kids are gonna have five kids. Number two, for some of you, it's a general reading. Just remember that some of you are gonna have fi five kids. For others, a few four kids, five or four kids. So I'm seeing three girls, two boys, three boys, two girls for some of you, and uh, those kids look all the same. So they look the same. So it's like they're not mixed, they look the same, and they're all, all similar. They look the same, like they could have the same hair color, the same skin color. So I'm guessing 
that you married someone who looked like you or someone like uh, in the same race like if you if you're blonde this person is also white and blonde something like that so because the kid looks similar like in color and uh, yeah or uh, I feel like you both are black for some of you and the kids are black so they're not mixed the kids they're not mixed you want seven? Oh my god. Okay, then you can have more if you want to. So, it's the energy for now. Number three, uh, your future kids. Um, you're going to have one kid only, number three or two. I feel like you want to have one kid and the second one you're going to have just by coincidence or you both didn't use protection and then you're, oh, your wife or you are pregnant. Uh, you are, whatever, you both are pregnant. So, it's like the second baby going to be by coincidence. The first baby you're going to blend. The second baby going to be by coincidence. Again, this, those babies look uh, mixed. They look mixed and cute. This, those babies look really cute. Look really cute. Really cute. Real cute babies. Real cute babies. You want to eat them. They look really cute. Those babies look really cute. They have curly hair or afro hair or something. But they look really, really cute. And also they dress up just like number one. They're very dressed up and elegant, those babies. And they do a lot of things, those babies. They talk a lot. There's one ba one of your babies that's just really aggressive and always talk and always have an attitude. And always, like, aggressive and always have this strong personality. I feel like people laugh, laugh about your baby because your kid is just, like, very aggressive like an adult. They go to a place and they yell at people. It's like, no, 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 no. Like, this, this baby is real aggressive, real aggressive, real aggressive. This baby, like, real aggressive. If they don't like something, they will say it to someone's face. So, cute babies. <laughs> so, number four. I heard like, na 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 Like, real cute. <laughs> oh, number four. Your babies, you're gonna have... Whoa, this is like a lot of babies also. Like, this is too much. Like 10 or 12, I'm seeing. I'm not sure who got, got tw 10 or 12. Maybe you're gonna adopt, but I'm not seeing adopting. Maybe you're gonna have, for some of you for, who chose number four, you're gonna have your kids, your your cousins. I'm not sure, you, uh, someone, someone kid you're gonna raise because the other woman is not, or maybe this, yeah, maybe your man or your woman is married before and had kids from another married life because they have kids from someone else. So you ha they have kids from someone else and then they got married before. They got like kids from two women or uh, she got kids from two men before or you're going to raise some other people's kid. So you're going to raise your kids and some other people's kids. Uh, it's like uh, for some of you, your sister or your mother, you're going to raise your sisters or your brothers because your mother is not, someone is an alcoholic or your sister is an alcoholic or someone is not good. So you're going to raise their kids with you. I feel like you're going to raise someone else's kid also with you. But I'm seeing you like in general, like your kids, you're going to have only four or five or six for some of you, like your kids, your own kids. I feel like your kids are like, there's two shades of colors. It's one like one of your kids got a black hair like darker hair darker blonde hair i'm seeing black hair for others of other of your kids they got brownish hair brownish or one black hair could be like a black family i'm seeing a black or they got like a little bit tanner skin than me or a little bit they got tanner skin it could be indian also so they got like shades uh one of your kids got red hair like a little bit reddish black reddish we do have it so like you don't have this color in europe you only have it in the middle east it's like a black black real black a black hair but when you go to the sun it's kind of reddish reddish it look red it's not blonde but it's like a shiny uh, black red hair so it's like uh like um uh, how to call it kind of brownish but kind of reddish yeah i have it inside but if it's a black i'll show you but some people have it intensely like that it's like reddish kind of like that so i'm seeing maybe a an arabic family for others of you or like a mixed family i'm seeing a mixed family but they all like a uh, mix between a black brown something like that asian for others of you there's filipinos here asian something like that it's like a mixed mixed family Okay, but there's no white in this family. There is no white in this family. Nobody was married to any white here. Uh, so, yeah. Number five. Uh, how many kids are you going to have? You're going to have... Um, 
this is uh, this way you're gonna so uh, here i've seen different energies for some of you it could be same gender relationship like uh it could be a woman a woman a man a man or whatever or you both are something like whatever you're into but you're gonna adopt kids or the kids are by surgeon or what you call it surgeon mother uh so one of you gonna have a kid or both gonna have but from some other women that you're gonna take or adopt a kid but i'm seeing like one of you gonna donate sperm to some woman that she gonna be a surgeon surgeon what you call a surgeon uh then she gonna you're gonna take the baby or something like that or a baby they're gonna be a uh, coming into life with not the typical way like a man and a woman fucking each other and having a baby so we're gonna be like that uh it could be both of you are women so we're gonna have a sperm donor and one of you gonna be pregnant the other one of you gonna be pregnant the next time but i'm seeing four babies here four babies uh babies looking really different so i'm seeing like one black baby one white baby and one brown baby it's like all colors of baby so you may adopt for some of you number four or uh, for others few if you didn't if you're not uh, you're not on this uh, like category like you're not not gonna adapt or something you're gonna marry someone this uh, this person will look like totally different color than you like it could be it could be black and they could be really white they, there's like a different color it's not like you're black and this person's black but you share the same skin like me or something or brown skin no one of you is really white and the other one of you is real black like that black so it could be like that a relationship uh biracial relationship for others of you it's not that one of you is asian and the other one of you is black but the colors the color different or the mixture the mixture will look on your kid like your kid will, will really look mixed you know really look mixed like one of your kids is that color one of your kids is this color and that color so yeah so choose the topic people What's their next action towards you? Their next action. One, two, three, four, five. Their next action. One, two, three, four, five. Their next action. Too late. One, two, three, four, five. Their next action towards you. Choose their next action towards you, people. Okay. This person is gonna ignore you, they continue to ignore you, ignoring you, but this person is like uh, dying inside, slowly dying inside. They don't like the feeling that they're ignoring you. So I feel like they're gonna continue to ignore you, but they're gonna snap anytime soon. This person is gonna snap and text you and say something, but this person is gonna continue ignoring you for now. I'm sensing a lot of pain here. So this person, hello. So this person, next action towards you, this number one. So this person having a lot of pain inside them. <laughs> miss a lot but i'm gonna post it so this person got a lot of pain inside them they don't want to ignore you but for some reason they're very depressed it's like they really want you but they don't know what to do they're frustrated by the situation so they will snap their next action towards you number two number two uh this person gonna buy you something a lamborghini bugatti i don't know what this person gonna buy you but they're gonna buy you something fancy something expensive something expensive a uh, rolex i'm not sure why this person want to give you something expensive to shut you i feel like guilt maybe this person cheated on you or they want to shut you i feel like it's like guilty buying you something hmm sorry baby so uh, this person is uh, want to buy you something something expensive but i feel be careful because uh, this person want to buy something expensive to make you happy so you don't you don't acknowledge the problem maybe they're married and they didn't divorce their wife or they have someone else or they cheated or they want to just hide the fact that they did something wrong no it's not a ring i'm sorry it's something not not good number three what's the next action Number three, their next action is gonna be slapping you so hard. I'm not sure why, but I'm seeing this person coming to you with the with all everything in them. Like they're very frustrated and angry or something they're gonna do, gonna hit you in the face really hard. I'm seeing you, you know when you walk, 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 I'm not sure if it happens to you, but imagine yourself, yeah, imagine yourself you're walking and then something knock you on the head really fast, like and really hard, it hurts. Like you either a wall or someone holds some book and just 
poof on your face like that really big and really hard and you feel dizzy or you knock your head on the wall like that when you fall on the ground really hard the poof you know how this feel like and you feel like your head just an electric shock this is how it's gonna happen this person gonna give you something or they gonna do something or you're gonna read something about this person or something then i gonna give you a fucking knock in, in the fucking face this we're gonna come and just knock you and you be shocked or you're gonna slap you really hard something gonna be really hard but i feel after that you're gonna be realizing something that things does like it doesn't have to be this way and you're gonna fix something <laughs> oh my god number four what's the next action number four this person gonna write you a note a letter uh, to confess the feelings I feel like you you think this letter is really cute. It's an adorable letter. I'm not sure if this person got a sticker on the who they write like a five years old or something. It's like a letter with the stickers on on the letter or something. Stickers there. It's really cute or a card with stickers on them or something like a card. It could be a birthday card or something or a gift. They're gonna send you flowers with a cute letter or a cute. They're gonna send you something or a letter by text. But I'm seeing more like a physical physical letter for some of you it's a general reading for others of you it's a text message with a lot of emojis like a lot of emojis or something for others of you it's like a text or something like i mean a letter <laughs> oh my god we will chose the three <laughs> number five their next action towards you number five this person gonna dump you They're gonna dump you and leave so yeah so Here's your intuition, Shani. So how about I go leave, eat something, and uh, relax my head? Because this girl just annoyed me. At work was nothing. We didn't do much. But this girl was talking from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And she killed me. She killed me. She killed me. She killed me. I can't take it. If I go to work tomorrow, I'll just tell her, please shut up. I didn't want to hurt her feeling, but too much. So I will be back later, maybe in two hours or something. Okay? Bye-bye.